Hi, this is Pastor Gary Ellis from the Sanctuary Church in Davenport, Iowa, and we have here a summary of a recent teaching at the church that I gave with the two simple title words, What If? What if? Questions that you can ask yourself that when you do that, potentially have the power to set you on a course of life that becomes better than it ever has before. What if? Living life in the adventure of what if. And here were the questions. What if there's more to life than I've lived so far? What if? That's a simple question, but what if there is more? And that's not assuming that you've had a bad life. That's assuming that you may have had a good life. But what if if, if there's more to life than I've lived so far? I bet there is, by the way. What if that life is accessible to me in the here and now? Let your mind wander on that. Number three question. What if God does love me as much as the preacher says he does? And as much as the words in the Bible says he does? How would that impact you? What if, according to Jesus' high prayer in John his high priestly prayer, that the fact is that God loves us, he loves you, exactly as much as he loves Jesus. That's what he prayed. What if that's true? And what if I am my own worst enemy? If I come to that conclusion, what things might I need to change? What if the songs that we sing in worship are actually based on truth? Of course they are, but I'm asking you questions for you to ponder for yourself rather than being a spiritual couch potato. (laughs) What if grace is enough to change my whole world? What if I don't have to pay for my own sin? You know that's doctrinally true, but ponder that. How does that impact your life? What if grace opens the door to Christmas every day? We sing the song, How Great Is Our God. Well, what if he is actually bigger than the thing that has become so big in your life? And what if Jesus is actually a name that is above every name, with not only the powers of eternity at his fingertips, but what if he actually is the powers of eternity himself? How does that affect you? And how would that affect your life? What if I return to the heart of worship and made my days truly all about him. How might that affect my life? Here's another question. What if Jesus is actually who he's described to be in the Bible? How might that actually affect me, my life, and those I touch? What if Jesus is actually your Jehovah Jireh, and you are not left to figure out how to get your own needs met. What if he is your Christmas every day, potentially? What if Jesus is your Jehovah Rophe, the master physician, that is actually your personal concierge doctor? You don't have to work within any man-made system, and the man-made system is getting weaker all of the time as far as health concerns. What if Jesus is your Jehovah M. Kadesh? He's the one that was symbolized in the Old Testament as the one who is your cleansing, your sanctification, and he is that bowl of water. As you are being slimed by life, you receive his cleansing water. It deep cleans, and the filth can't stick. What if he... As Jehovah M. Kadesh, your sanctifier, is with you constantly all of the time. What if something good, something totally unanticipated, met you up close and personal today? 
You know, like the old song says, I just feel like something good is about to happen. I just feel like something good is on its way. He has promised that he'd open all of heaven. And brother, it could happen for you today. When God's people humble themselves and call on Jesus and they look to him expecting as they pray, well, I just feel like something good is about to happen. And it, my friend, could be this very day. What if you faced each day with that anticipation? Would that put you in a place of hope that would actually cause faith to move toward you and for you? What if he is actually reality and everything else out there is a poor imitation? Everything out there that you've called reality is a poor imitation to the real reality. But what if you can actually carry that reality with you out your door every day and live, breathe, and move throughout the rest of your day with it? And then the next, and then the next, and then the next. What if...